Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you would like to learn more about criminal defense, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates. Feel free to ask questions in the comments section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. So we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. Let's see here. here. Mr. Hugo Romero asks us, what happens if someone makes threats through phone calls? What should the victim do? And what happens to the person who is making the threats? Well, first of all, Let's say you're the victim of somebody making threatening phone calls. It really matters what the threats are, but you should probably just call the police regardless. Now, if somebody's threatening your life, threatening to do you serious bodily injury or harm or kill you, then you should definitely go to the police and report this. Uh, this would be a violation of Penal Code Section 422, which carries up to three years state prison. This is a felony. Now, um, if the victim believes, legitimately believes that the uh, person who's making these phone calls can actually manifest the crime. If the victim actually believes that the criminal could actually do what they say they're going to do, it's a legitimate threat and it should be taken seriously and the report should definitely be made and the police and the DA's office will take care of it. Obviously, the guy who got accused of that is the guy that needs to be calling our office. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comments section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. But if you've been accused of a crime here in the San Francisco Bay Area and need representation, give us a call for free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, one 800 76 Seven, seven. On our next video, we're going to be discussing a situation where somebody uh, wanted to know if they were going to be required to speak to the police if the police calls them. I'm going to say hi to Sarah Hamilton, who's watching us right now on Facebook. Hi, Sarah. Criminal lawyer, criminal lawyers, DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers. Criminal attorney, criminal attorneys, DUI attorney, DUI attorneys.